What's up, smart people on YouTube? Thank you for joining me. Just the average guy joining me on my channel. And you know how I do. I break it down. The stocks I was looking at for today. And let's go ahead and check out the Monster SLS. So, man, I had a good entry. I followed the third candle rule. And let's see right here. Bam, I got in at 4.14.9. Bam, right there. But I sold. I sold at like 14. Let me look at it real quick. I sold crazy early, man. It was just bouncing around. I saw a big, big wall on the sale order. I should, I should have waited for the wall to get broken down. But you know, either way, green is green, right? Let's see where I got out at. All right, SLS. Bam, 1420 at 944. Right here. On this red candle, 1420. I mean, 1520, sorry. 1520. Didn't wait for the big run up. Went all the way up to 7 cents. So I got in at 14.149. It went all the way up to 17 cents. Could have been easily $200 using a thousand dollars to trade with so SLS you can see I set my stop here I got in at 149 set a quick line to 4% my stop would have been at 1435 always important guys put that stop in get in the trade and plan on it to fail first that's 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 the key that's the key right there Let's check out Yoga. Yoga did a little nice move. Had a nice dip here. Third green candle. Bam. And it went up. Could have sold at the max line. Nice percentage gain there. Whoosh. 33%. Nice, nice. And then my other trade. I didn't trade on Yoga. I was just analyzing that. My other trade was FCL. Got in on the third green candle, solid uh, red candle, went ahead and sold. So I got in at like 0.4014, and then I sold at 0.339. And then my other good trade was uh, Sint, S I N T. Sint had his nice uh, green coming in, I waited for it. I saw the third green. I uh, saw the third candle was red, and then I. Uh, but I waited for this green candle to form, and saw I was getting some volume, so I said, "Might as well jump in." I got in at ten or point one zero eight. Yep, point one zero eight right here. While I was building up at nine thirty two, I quickly set my stop. Let's see, bam, to the bottom. 97 cents or 0 0.09 sorry 9 cents pretty much and then but it ended up rising up and I saw that just 1 cent was 10% so I, I tried to protect profits at 10% went to 11% I mean 11 cent saw that I was dropping down I sold at 0.10.8 yep right there at 9.39 so happy with those trades overall been doing pretty nice been following my stop losses been quickly calculating my stop losses and I plan on my trades to fail so I'm not thinking about how much upside is coming until the upside starts coming because upside you got plenty of time to sell but when it starts coming down on you, you you're, you're cutting down your losses as small as you can so you're planning on your trade to fail before planning on your trade to go up ACHN had this nice move bam nice dip missed out on that saw some other traders caught that so good move good move CTST look at that real quick CTST had a nice dip here bam I wouldn't have been in this type of trade but nice little move there if you would have caught the dip check out spy the overall market it's going higher 
we are at the top of the pyramid. 302 was the last high. Let's check it out. Oops, one day, five minutes. 302 is the highest the market has been. Over the past five years, we have went up a hundred point or yep, a hundred dollars. I seen. Let's see, over. Let's see, five years, yeah. Well, we're at the top. See what happens. You know the market drops unexpectedly when uh it crashes but who knows when it crash so just breaking down my trades you guys uh sls was the monster for today missed out on that whole run look like it's doing a little move now but um yeah just you know quick reminder quickly set those stop losses follow my channel if you like me breaking down the stocks and how I trade and stuff and I'll see you in the next video.